Welcome to another Death Head Dice painting tutorial. This time we're going to do basic basing. This is actually in response to a comment from Dungeon Master Johnny. So um, basically I do my bases very simple. The reason I do that, I, like, I love the really fancy ones that people do as well, but I find on the gaming table, I find them to me more of a distraction. And my table eventually when I get it done is going to look a lot like this. So this is a very quick video to look at how to get this effect. Um, takes next to no time. So we'll start with prepping the model. So I start with, uh, for, for any of the, the pewter or the metal models, I always uh, try to make sure it's sitting in the base properly and level. I find the privateer press stuff, often the bases are a little bit too long, so too uh, deep, so you have to shave those down a bit. And what I find is a good way to keep them in place is just start to take a pair of pliers. I use metal snips for some reason, but and just twist them, and that gives them that little bit of torque. Now, once they're in the base, you often will find a little bit of space left over. I know some people use... Um, so the green stuff or gray stuff, I like cork because it's cheap and you can cut it to whatever size you need relatively quickly. So I just cut off a small piece of cork, cut it into the pieces I figure I'll need, grab my handy dandy tweezers and just basically fill in that spot. So, and you'll see as we go along, we'll use some glue and that'll fill in any of the, if there's any tiny pieces left, but you can usually get it filled up relatively easy with uh, just a little bit of cork. I know for, for here, around here, uh, cork is relatively cheap as well, especially the thin sheets like I have. And just trim off any excess that you need to. And next up, just use some regular white glue or PVA glue and just spread it all over. Get an old brush and just try to get it as thin as you can or as even as you can. And get into all those little crevices. If you get a little bit on the model, that's fine. Once it's on, um, once the the gravels down it's much easier to get it off than it at this point so I wouldn't and if you get a, a huge blob then yeah sure take it off but so now gravel I'm not sure where I got this but you can get uh, any of this from any of the hobby stores and mine has a nice mix of different things so just sort of di dip it in there get as much on there flick off the excess and just let it dry so we're on to priming the model and so I'm using the Vallejo Surface Primer Black with an airbrush. You can do this with a um, with any kind of primer, either spray can or even if you want to do it with liquid. Um, just get good coverage. Try to get as much over there. Now I've been I don't know if anyone else uses the the Vallejo Surface Primer, but I've been actually having issues with it with my airbrush. I don't know if my stuff is too old because the other paint seems to go through it, or it could be the fact that I'm using a, uh, a, a a generic airbrush rather than the regular one. So comment below if you've had any issues. On to painting the model. So first uh, base coat is going to be I use. Used, uh, any dark brown will work. I use the Vallejo model color, the burnt umber, and I do it about a uh, one to one ratio of water to paint. It's important to get really thin because you want to get into all those nooks and crannies. And if the paint's too thick, it's going to take you forever. I also use a really wide brush for this as well because you want to get as uh, as much, want to spend as little time on this as possible. Now the only drawback, it does take a lot longer to dry because of the one to one ratio, but um, I usually set these up before I, I, I'm done for the day and then go back to it. So first layer is on a dry brush, a vigorous dry brush of a, a mid-tone brown. Now I'm using the Reaper Master Series Leather Brown, um, but just to try to get in as much as you can. By this point, the, the nice thing about doing the, the airbrushing the primer and then the, a thick coat of the base coat, it really helps seal the uh, rocks down. So you can get vigorous and not to worry about knocking those the, the pieces off. So now this is my final highlight. This is the Citadel uh, bleach bone. I believe this. I don't even know if this is still available or not. I don't think it is, but any l really light uh, bone color will work fine. Just uh, not necessarily as vigorous on this one. Try to hit just the highlight parts or in areas there. I, did, I didn't do it all over the model or over the base. I just focused on certain areas. And then you can see you get that nice uh, dusty stand effect. So now we're on to finishing the base. And so back to the PVA glue and just want to put a couple blobs here and there. You can use your brush to thin it out a little bit or to um, spread it out a little bit more. I think in this case I did that, but I didn't film it. So I use the Army Painter Battlefields, their steep grass, which is just a static grass, which is a uh, more a couple colors there. And I just take a pair of tweezers and just drop it all on. Pat it down a little bit. You don't want to put too much pressure on it, um, but just pat it down a little bit and just let it sort of fall in. And then when you're done, once you've got all the stuff covered that you're happy with, just turn it upside down and flick off the, the excess back into the container. 
doing this when uh, filming is a little bit more difficult. So I wasn't quite as got all this, I got all this stuff all over the place, but normally you can get back in the container without any issues. So when you're done, this is what you're look you're with is a, a fairly quick base. Really, per model, it takes less than a couple minutes to do. It looks great on the table. And uh, there you go. So thank you very much for watching. I do. If you want to watch any of the other videos we do, we've got some other tutorials about Warhammer and War Machine battle reports. And if you liked what you see, click on subscribe. And uh, if you want to follow the us on Twitter or on our blog, the information's there. And uh, and uh, as always, if you if you like it, please click on subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.